What's up YouTube? Dougie Chong here. This is my first mining rig. I would have put this up earlier but I was fiddling around a lot with it. Uh, it's got two monitors. I'll tell you the whole backstory of this rig. At first I tried to make it with these GTX 1060s. First I bought one and then two more to try out and then before I even got the motherboard they were all sold out or hard to get so I only ended up getting five of those and then I tried for these ASUS 1060s managed to get three of them for about 280 each before the prices got ridiculous these are all Canadian prices uh, after that, I got six of these MSI Armor 4GB RX 580s. Again, they sold out, so I had to find four more on Newegg. Got these two Sapphire ones and a Power Color one. So that's 10 RX 580s and 8 GTX 1060s. The 1060s are running on Ubuntu Linux. For the 8 of them with no overclock, they get 3,500 hash mining Monero. Uh, the 580s get about 6,500 hash mining Monero on Windows 10. Alright. So each one is powered by two power supplies. The GTX 1050s are powered by uh, Corsair and EVGA. It's on a MSI 270A Pro motherboard. It's important to note that to get more than four GPUs working on this particular motherboard, you must enable over 4G decoding in the BIOS settings. I'm using an SSD if you can see it back there because at first I was using a USB stick to load the Ubuntu but it was just way too slow. So here's all the wire management. I get one SATA cable per each riser and then one six pin split two ways max. So Eventually I'm going to put two GTX 1050s there because that's all I could find at this point. Uh, as for the RX 580s, it's on the ASRock H110 Plus Bitcoin specific mining motherboard which can hold up to 13. So it's underutilized right now. This one's actually using an add to PSU. This connects two power supplies. You plug the secondary power supply motherboard cable into it, and then a Molex cable from the primary power supply. Got the SSD back there running Windows. So this rig had a lot of trouble starting. Uh, you can get like one or two GPU is going no problem, 4 no problem, 5 pretty good with the blockchain drivers from August 23rd, 2017 or something. Uh, and then I tried using the latest adrenaline drivers, I think like 17.5. Uh, then you make sure you download AMD settings and turn the graphics to compute under global settings. Then you can get like 7, 8, and then 9. The screen will flicker a bit, but it should detect them all. It's also worthy to note that it's a 750 power supply and 850 power supply, so they're running pretty much at their limits. Uh, I refused to buy a Wattman, so this is like a makeshift power meter. As you can see, I undervolted them all a little bit, and it's already running 11 amps, which translates to around 1,320 watts, which is 
pretty close to the max. You shouldn't push the power supplies that much. Uh, they both have 4 gigs DDR4 RAM. One is Ballistics, the other is Hyper Fury. They both run the 4400 CPU. Uh, the monitor for this one is connected using VGA. This one has a DVI connected to the RX 580. Yeah, they're both connected from Ethernet. Yeah, I must say the 1060s, they were really straightforward. You plug them in, you get Linux going, they run pretty much no problem. These guys, they took a lot of effort, a lot of work. But eventually they work now. I also got nine of these working on Linux, but it was pushing 12 amps for 1400 watts, which I thought was a little too close to the power limits. Another problem I faced, originally I had this Corsair power supply over here where this EVGA power supply is, but you can't mix the power cables for EVGA and Corsair, so I ended up running out of cables, so keep that in mind. Maybe it's better to use the same brand power supplies. <clears throat> so for this rig, I also uh, do not use an Add2 PSU. I simply use the self-starter provided from the EVGA power supplies. Most of them have it. So I just turn this one on first and then turn the other one on. Seems to have worked fine. And then when turning off, I turn off the main one first and then the secondary one off. Uh, I have them both so that they turn on when I turn on the power supply. That's a BIOS setting. And yeah, that's about it. That's my first 18 GPU mining rig. Yeah. So originally I wanted all 1060s. This is what I ended up with. So I have a frame for a second rig, it's going to go, it's got some improvements so I can put some on the edge here so you don't have wasted space like this one. I'm going to put four Vega Frontiers on it which I've already been using and it's a pain. And then 12 GTX 5 1050s which should be fairly straightforward. So two things I forgot to mention, I was able to get eight graphics cards on this motherboard with only six slots by using that splitter you see there. Cost about 20 bucks, worked right away. <coughs> also I forgot to mention that I first tried to use another one of these Z270A Pro motherboards with the RX. 580s and it just didn't really work uh, I guess they don't like the AMD drivers but with the GTX 1060s it worked as soon as you try to get five or anything more than four of these RX 580s when you enable the over 4G decoding they don't work so you might want to keep that in mind if you're building an RX 580 mining rig Alright, so there's my mining rig. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Yep. Yeah.